Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here. Today we will be taking a look at Mad Riders. Mad Riders is an extreme off-road racing game. And let me, I just want to read this to you. This is the first sentence in the game description on Steam for this game. And it is entirely in caps. Feel the heart-pounding thrill of extreme off-road racing competition. Entirely in caps. That is absurd. There's no need for that sentence. Anyway, got, Anyways, guys, this is Mad Riders, developed by Techland, published by Ubisoft. Once again, it is an extreme off-road racing game. We're going to hop right into the single player. As you can see, there is also a multiplayer. There are leaderboards, achievements, helps and help, and options. But let us jump into the single player. Now, there's two major things we want to look at. Uh, there's the tournament and the quick race, also a garage. I guess I'll just show you this first. Uh, this will also come up while you're going through the tournament whenever you start a race if you want to customize things, but this lets you pick your vehicle, lets you change the color. Uh, we'll take a look at that when we start the race though. For quick race, in quick race you have access to anything that you have uh, unlocked in the tournament or the campaign mode of the game. So you'll notice here, I'll go to stunt race for example, I have only unlocked one of the three total stunt races available. However, if I go to the regular race, what you'll notice is I've unlocked quite a few more of them. So, as far as I've progressed in the campaign, this is how many I've unlocked. Now, there's a few extra that I have yet to unlock, as you can see here, but just to show you. So, it, I, a lot of times when I think of a quick race in a game, especially a racing game, I assume, all right, so this just allows you to quickly jump into uh, anything and uh, try the different race types and all that stuff. But it's interesting because you can't, for example, uh, the stunt race wasn't even available to me at the start. I had to wait till I unlocked the first one. So it's a little odd because I almost feel like if you're just going to do this and you can only have access to the races that you've unlocked in the campaign, then why not just play them in the campaign? I mean, there's literally, I could just go here and then just pick the races that I've already unlocked and play those. It's just a tad bit baffling to me, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So this is the tournament or the campaign mode of the game. Uh, as you progress through it, you unlock new skins for your characters, for your racers, you unlock new ATVs, uh, you unlock uh, new paint jobs and stuff like that. And you're gonna notice there has been three of the tournaments that I've unlocked so far, each of them containing five races out of a, uh, a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out of a total of eight. So I've unlocked three out of the eight total. And we're just gonna hop in first and foremost by taking a look at a standard uh, run-of-the-mill race I'll go to, let's go to this one because I came in third. Let's see if we can break the third. All right, so I've got access to four different ATVs currently. Now you're gonna notice here as I work my way up, they get they go from pretty awful to a huge jump, number four. I mean, look at that huge jump in stats. I'm going to, of course, assume that that trend will continue as you work your way through the campaign. And I'm actually gonna go with this one because it has better air steering and stunt agility as opposed to this one. And I like doing tricks. So that's, that's the deal there. Uh, you can also customize the colors, if that's something you actually care about, which I do not, so I won't. And you can also do the paint job. This is gonna get, kind of give you an overall theme. Let's pick something neat. How about that one? And then lastly, you can, uh, that, that one's terrible, what I'm talking about. Let's go with that one. That one's equally terrible. All right, and then you can also pick the driver that you want. It's basically just gonna change your outfit. Uh, so whichever tool bag you feel like playing, I feel like playing that tool bag. And let us continue. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off by taking a look at a regular race. Now, this is not just your standard racing game, uh, because it is, you know, it involves um, off-road racing. There's a lot of tricks incorporated, and what happens is you can collect power-ups to gain a boost for your vehicle. That's pretty standard, right? Most racing games have that. But you can also do tricks, which will allow you to also get boost for your vehicle. That is pretty neat. I'm actually a huge fan of that. So, hit Alt. It's giving me a charge right there. So the blue thing, these all things, they do one of two things. They're either going to give you a bonus charge that's coming up, or they're going to give you access to a shortcut like we see there. So I'm going to hit Alt again because I acquired the second one, and that lets me go there, and I'm doing tricks, and these tricks are getting me more boost, and then picking up the boost on the ground is also getting me more boost. Let's do a backflip here. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh my gosh, we landed it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? See these boosts right here, those red tokens? That will uh, fill up your boost bar, but again, also doing those tricks uh, fills that same role. So even if you happen to miss boost bars, it's not a big deal because you can still get boost by doing tricks. All right, we're in fifth position though, so should probably focus on uh, getting up here a little bit more. And there we go, got that alt. I get this one as well, so I can hit that shortcut coming up. And did I miss it? Yes, I did. Oh well. 
Let's do a trick here. Do another whip. There we go. Now, as I've progressed the campaign, I've been learning more and more tricks. Um, so I'm assuming that actually everything that I have access to isn't even all of them. That was a fail. <laughs> so far, I can whip left and right as well as backflip. Those are the air tricks that I know. I can also wheelie, and there's also a slide that you can do. I'll try to get one of those nailed at some point. Although, first let me focus on trying to get the first here. There we go. Alright. the alt. Give us the boost up here. There we go. Good. Pick up this one, which will give us the shortcut coming up. And I, I, I got it, I got it. Alright. Backflip, let's do it. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Shortcut. I dropped, dropped the position here. Let's see if we can land this perfectly. Ah, missed it. That's alright. Nope, not gonna backflip. <laughs> I would have just backflipped into a rock, which is bad. I don't know that we're gonna get first. Gonna be close here. Let's see what we got. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, there it is. We got it, we got it, we got it. Victory, all right. So there's a standard race. Um, when you're going through the campaign to actually complete it, you need to come in first, second, or third. If you don't, it's gonna ask you to redo it. First place gives you three stars, second two, third one. Pretty logical progression. Also, I got a performance stunt. Oh, extra XP, okay, I see. I see. And that whole system works its way up to you unlocking more. So there you go, I got first in that race. Uh, that was a standard race. However, I don't want to continue to show you races. Let us go to something else. So besides races, there are also time trials, or it's called Race the Clock. Last time I got one star, let's see if we can beat that. Gonna stick with the same vehicle, and all that stuff. One big plus to this game, it's only 10 bucks. I, really, I mean, that's, that's good. Now I'm still going to do stunts here, uh, mid-air, because I do want to try to have that boost going as much as possible. <clears throat> and also, yeah, I need to show you the wheelie. Let's see if we can do the wheelie at some point, so. All right, here's a slide, I'll do it right now. There you go. See that? So I got accumulated a little bit of a boost because of that. And another slide. There it is. Do a trick here. Get the whip. Get that too. Wow. Good one. Got a slide bonus there. Try to boost this up. Let's see if we can do a backflip right here. Here it is. One. Let's go two. Let's go two. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, man. Uh, landing on that yellow target on the ground, that will also give you a boost. That's another uh, kind of thing that you can do too. All right. Oh, oh, that's really close to uh, failing there. Oh my gosh. Got the alt. All right. So let's see what it is. Is it a shortcut or is it? We got a shortcut coming up there. There it is. So we'll tell you ahead of time. Obviously, eventually you learn the tracks and you won't need to know ahead of time. But when you're first learning the game, we'll tell you ahead of time when you're, what you're coming up to. We're gonna do a whip right here. Oh, didn't do it. Let's try to do a wheelie. No, that was a bad spot to try to do a wheelie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am. I this is not looking good. Let's do a whip here. Get to a second one. Oh, perfect landing. Give me a boost as well. I, I, I really am liking this better than kind of the standard racing game, though. Um, I, 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 like the, I like the trick system. I really do. I'm sure there have been other games like this in the past, uh, none that I've played like this. Uh, snowboarding games and skateboarding games are probably my closest, uh, the games that I've played that have closest resembled something like this. I'm gonna fall off the track. <laughs> oh, I'm super dead. There's How am I back here? How am I not dead right now? How did I, how did I live through that? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Really funny. Another whip and a backflip. Can you do that? Is that really even allowed? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at those skills. Whew. Still haven't even showed you a full wheelie, have I? Hard to pull off without uh, falling off the track. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we performed here. Come on, give me some three stars. Yeah, man, I'm a baller. That is greatness. 
That is supreme greatness. Performed 36 stunts for an extra 810 XP. Rock on. All right, a couple more race types. Still got to show you. So we've seen a regular race. We've seen a time trial. Now let us take a look. I performed it. I got in second place. Is there another one of these that I haven't played yet? Yeah, let's go to this one. All right, so we're going to try the arena here. This is a new map. Never seen it before. No idea what this is going to be like. But I know what the arena is. And the arena, it's basically a race, but on a really small track and just shifting waypoints. That's all. Still pretty standard, though. I can, let me try to start this off with a wheelie, actually. <clears throat> show you that. Very simple to pull off. You just push down. Down arrow. That is it. Um, but it's going to give me a boost. Okay. Well, I forget it. Just go for this. Gotta try it now. There we go. See that? So I got a wheelie. Got myself a little boost from that. I, it really, uh, you lose a bit of control, though. So, yeah, you lose a ton of control. Holy heck. I didn't realize that. But as a result, I've gained uh, gained a bunch of boost, and I'm putting in second. Oh, come on, let's go! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, okay. All right. Don't can't do it there. There we go. It's another wheelie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, get it. Did I miss it? Yes, I did. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, fail. <laughs> oh, that is really funny. That is really funny. <laughs> oh, oh well. <laughs> so as you can see, it's going to prompt you to try again unless you get first, second, or third. But guess what? I'm not going to waste your time with that. You don't need to see me fail that anymore. All right, so next one we can take a look at is... I already performed on that stunt one. So I guess the only one you really haven't seen yet is the stunt. So let's go back to that one. I got first last time. Don't know if I'll get it again. Probably not. But that is okay. That's all right. I'm also interested to see what other stunts are unlockable in the game. Because I have to imagine there's more than what I've learned so far. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Sidewinder right away. And a wheelie. Oh! Darn. That's why, you gotta, that's why you gotta be careful with those wheelies, I tell ya. Put you in 10th position right away. One backflip, and just stick it. Okay, so. There we go, that's good. Ah, missed it. Missed the whip. Alright, one second. Oh! I tell you what, wow, really? I failed and stole him in first place? Joke. Can be. Just hit it in the middle. There it is. Oh no! It's lap two or three, and I'm still in first. This is ridiculous. I guess I should be focused more on the tricks, though, because uh, at any time they could be doing better than me right now. Just yeah, yeah, it's the second score. Well, yeah. Let me try to stick a few more. Try to get a backflip up here. If we can. Yeah, let's do this. Two. No, don't, don't go forward. <laughs> uh, I knew I couldn't stick it. That's good. That was good. All right, what's this gonna put me in? Fingers crossed. Let's see if we get first again. Ah, uh, now they're gonna pass. They're gonna pass. No, they didn't pass us. Huzzah! Three forty. Victory score. And then we'll, look up, we'll take a look at one more race type. Which is... Alright, so the last race type is Ghost Rider, which is actually something that I haven't tried yet. 
so I'm pretty excited to take a look at it. This is the last available race type, Ghost Challenge. Test your skills against the ghost of a pro rider. Whatever that even means. Test your skills against the ghost of a pro rider. Yes, I understand. But what does that mean? Okay. You just told me the same thing three times in a row. I'm still not sure what it means. I wonder if this is going to be like horse or is this just a 1v1 race? So there's there's the guy. Do I just pass him? Can I just pass him or what? So he's just considered a pro rider. I guess he's just better than all the junky riders that I've been facing so far. Is that what that's supposed to be? No! This is not how you test your skills against the ghost of a pro. Just a 1v1 race? Is that really it? That's uh, boring as heck. Why is that even... How is this even any different? I thought it was going to be like horse, like, you know, he does something and then I have to do it. Kind of deal. It's not. Three laps. Let's go through the shortcut here. So we picked up one of those alts. Blue power-ups. First place, okay, there's only two of us, so it's almost gonna feed. <laughs> I don't know. I find this kinda weird. What is going on here? <laughs> how do how do you live through that? That's something that kinda bothers me though, is that I'll I'll just like run my guy into things and somehow still live. Like, how is that? Really? I mean, really? It's okay. Another trick here. Oh, oh, I tried a backflip. Apparently that was not the place to do a backflip. How about here? No, not like it. Not a backflip place. All right. Oh, nice. Very nice. Slide for it. I think I'm winning. I can't tell, though. I really can't. I mean, I know I'm in first, but is that all I need to do? It's just a 1v1 race. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, well. Oh, well. That aside... This game's 10 bucks, all right? Not very expensive at all. Uh, currently available on Steam, once again, developed by Techland, published by Ubisoft. Uh, interesting racing game. I like the I like the addition of the tricks. I think that adds a kind of a new dynamic to the racing. And the fact that the tricks play into the boost system as well. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, whether or not you guys like this game, that is of course totally up to you, and that is the point of these videos. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like the content, please be sure to subscribe. If you like this game here, you can go ahead and take a look at it on Steam. As with all of these videos, the quick looks, uh, there will be a link available to where you can download and purchase the game right in the video description below. Thanks again, guys. Uh, keep watching and keep owning. There we go. Take it easy.